Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do another January reading. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now I already did one January reading and I will tag this at the end of the video, the other one that I did. Um, but this is for at any point in January. And if you're in a happily ever after relationship, this reading is not for you. I focus on love and relationships for people that need answers. If you have been happily married for 30 years, then there's no reason for you to watch this reading. If you're not questioning anything, you know, you don't, this reading is not for you. And I have to say that because I, I have people that come on there and say, oh, I'm happy. Well, then why the f hell are you watching a tarot reading? Anyway, we're going to get one of these and we're going to then we're going to use that deck. Aquarius, what do we got for Aquarius? For January. Ooh, hostilities. Yep, somebody is hostile. Ready to fight, ready to battle. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. You could be dealing with somebody who is not happy about where you are, you know. That could certainly be the case. You could be dealing with other people. It could be more than one person even because that's what I'm sensing. I'm sensing that you have some people that are either jealous of you or they're just not happy with the decision that you've made. I'm not sure what that is or what, but somebody is... And that could be you as well. It could be you. We're going to find out in a minute here. Oh, is this the overall theme or what? Absolutely, positively it is. Death. First card, first card the end. The end. That's what the death is. Death is the end. The end of what was. You're headed out of a situation. You are, because this is going to be the first card. It's going to be headed out of this whole reading. You're headed out. You're headed towards something brand new, Aquarius. You are. A brand new life. Congratulations. It's a beautiful first card to get. Beautiful. Because you are headed towards rebirth and renewal. Love it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The first two cards. <laughs> Rebirth. Resurrection. Becoming alive again. Hearing the call. I got the goosebumps now. You guys have gone. You're going or you've gone through some sort of awakening. There's a re major release here. There's a major release and a rebirth. I mean, this is this is death and rebirth. There's 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 no doubt. I mean, that's where the title is going to be, death and rebirth. I mean, I can't make that. The first, I mean, two cards. Death and rebirth. So you are about to have a a, a new beginning, and it's a it's a big one. It's a major one because this is major, both majors. So transformation is on the horizon, and it's not a little one. It's a big one. One one phase of your life is over. You you have uh, it looks it's like you heard the call. You're wide awake. Oh God! Congratulations. Look at this. Four majors. Four first four cards. Majors universally driven. Universes at work here. The universe is removing something from your life, or they're helping you to remove it because free will does play a part. It's like the universe has guided you to make a decision to head out of a situation that was bringing you backwards. Something was keeping you stuck from success, and it looks like you have probably turned your back on it and found the strength. You have found the strength. No fear. You have, it's like there's no fear. There's a snake right there. She's not scared. She's not even worried about it. She's not worried about the lion either. No fear. It's like you don't have any, you're, you're, you have no fear. <laughs> Fearless. Fearless Aquarius. Is it going to have a, a really good, fresh start? 
And the past is being released. Like, for good. It's over. It's over. It's dead. The past is dead. Not looking back. I'm not... I, I, I have no fear. I've been stuck long enough. The past is dead. The past is dead. Can't make that shit up. Yep, not, you know, it's like, uh, I think that you guys are making a decision. You've made a decision. You've made some sort of decision. And right now you're probably seeing things more clearly than you have before. Because I see that really blue sky. There's no clouds there. You're not having any problem at all with this game called life at this time. You're not. You're juggling everything quite well. I see a lot of confidence. I see a lot of strength. I see a lot of willpower. I see a lot of uh, flexibility. You're really, you're being very flexible. Open to change. And you've let go of an incompatible uh, relationship. I think that's what's happened. I think that you guys have made it. I think you guys have made a decision. I mean, you, you were probably dealing or you are, you could be in the process of making the decision of answering that call. You could be in the process of releasing and ending an incompatible partnership. It's not compatible. There's no love. There's no, there's too many arguments. There's too many fights. It's like, there's just not any passion left there. You know, there's no balance. There's no harmony. And I think that you guys have probably stayed in this unfortunate situation for quite some time trying to nurture it. I think you tr did everything in your power to make it work. But, oh, you know, you know, it's just not, not going to happen. Whatever it is that you are releasing from the past, it's not love anymore. It's not there. I'm not in love with it. I'm not in love with you. I'm not in love with it. I'm not in love with the past. I'm not... I'm not invested in it. There's no compatibility. None. It's not a partnership that is a match made in heaven. It's not. And I think that you realize that. You do. You realize it. You realize it. But the other person might be a little pissed off. That's who it is. The other person is hostile. You know, the other person is going to be hostile. That you are seeing the truth. In many decks, the judgment card is labeled truth. You're seeing the truth about this connection. It's not really a connection anymore. The love has died. The love, the past love has died. End of story. End of story. No more wish fulfillment here. I think that you guys are making a decision to accept a change because there's no wish fulfillment. There's no happiness. There's no more love. There's no more love, whatever it is. And I think that you guys have hidden the truth for long enough. You've kept it within for long enough. And I think you've reached the point where, whether this has just happened or it's happening now, where um, you can't hide it anymore. This, the truth is about to be revealed. The truth is about to be revealed. I think that you may have went through a period of loss of self while you were dealing with this incompatible situation. But you are absolutely positively waking up. You are waking up. You're going, and you're going to have a major transformation, okay? So, somebody's been keeping it to themselves, keeping their true feelings to themselves about a relationship, waiting for the perfect time, the perfect time to spring the truth. And it could be this month. It could be this month. It, it could be. I think that somebody has been stuck in an unfortunate situation where there's no wish fulfillment. But it, you may be deciding to turn your back on it once and for all. Yeah, there's your state. Somebody is invested in an unrealistic situation where there's no more growth. <sighs> Oh, 
And I think that whoever you're dealing with is probably not going to be happy. They're probably going to be very um, pissed off. Um, they may be mean. Whoever you're dealing with is self-centered and um, ruthless. Just ruthless. Whoever you're dealing with is very pitiful. You know, they have a pitiful energy. Pitiful, pitiful me. You know, they, they think they're negative. They're a very negative person. And whoever this person is, they are going to be very unhappy that you do not want their less than passionate wand <laughs> you know or whatever they got they don't have to offer it's like they don't even have anything it's dead end it's a dead end it's it is it's like there's no growth here it's the passion that you had for this person or the passion this person had for you went south anyway this person lacks desire i mean this person has no energy this person is um very you're not driven at all and there's no drive in this person. Whoever it is that this person is that you're dealing with has no desire to fix anything. Very self-centered, egotistical. You're dealing with an egotistical person who doesn't want to put an effort in, in, in any effort or make any changes whatsoever. So the changes are on your back. They're on your back, Aquarius. And I feel like you're about to take the power in your own hands and turn your back on this situation. I think that you are. I think that you're about to face the masses and that you are about to make some sort of change. You're going to find the resources within yourself to make a change. The magician takes action to bring success. And I think you're about to face the world. You're about to make a, a massive change that is going to lead you towards success, whether you've made it yet or not. But whatever is happening, you have this newfound power that is leading you towards a huge new beginning rebirth rebirth so nine of pentacles reversed it's like you're you may be afraid that you're going to be on your own but i'm here to tell you that you don't have anything to be afraid of you have the you are completely capable a hundred percent capable of taking care of yourself a hundred percent. You have all the skills. You have all the knowledge. You have all the um, ability to manifest whatever you want. You do. So don't let your fears of of growing old alone or being old being alone hold you back because you're not gonna be alone. You're not gonna be alone. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. I got to take a drink. Communication. When that happens, there's difficulty in communication. What I was going to say was, there is somebody better suited for you. But this person can't communicate because you're still involved you're still involved with something or maybe this person is around i don't know you do have a better suitor you have a better suitor elsewhere but you may not see it you may not see that you have a better suitor or maybe you do know that you you do have somebody that is better suited for you there's no doubt but it's like you're stuck there's a wedge there's a wedge. There's something in the way from this union. Maybe you haven't broken free yet. You gotta head out. You gotta head out of this unfortunate partnership that you're involved in because you have a better option. Could be a Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I don't like to really name the signs. I just don't. But we have uh, Gemini. We have uh, Scorpio a couple times. We have Leo. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Gemini a couple times too. But either way, I feel like you have an opportunity for stability and security. And it's a big one. It's a big, 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 big opportunity. But you have to be practical. 
and you have to be responsible and you have to nurture yourself and you have to remember that you have the skills you have all the skills to take care of yourself do not stay in a situation that is not love okay there's no love there's no compatibility just be just because of you know money or fear of growing old alone you will not grow old alone you will not grow old alone so if that's the case i'm just here to tell you you will not because you have the you have the power to manifest a new beginning you absolutely manifest a new beginning but in order to get the new beginning you gotta let something end but i think you guys have because i see that it's hot or you're about to you're about to somebody is accepting the truth making a judgment call and heading out out of this situation this is it's headed out this is headed out i'm headed out of this old chapter i'm headed out of this old place i'm headed out of this incompatible partnership i am and i'm headed towards stability and security and something more nurturing and something more practical you know something something more stable something more solid so is what about for singles is there somebody coming in for the singles let's talk about singles for a second yes there is there's an opportunity if you are single if you are single there is somebody that is probably wanting to start a relationship with you it could be a pisces cancer scorpio and it's somebody that you are manifested so if you are the single or it could be any other sign, okay? If you are the single Aquarius watching this, you do have somebody that is coming with a, an offer of love, okay? And I think that this person um, has been planning on coming. And if they're not here already, they're, they're close. I think that they're close. Um, they've made the decision to get moving and they're headed in your direction. Um... And they want a relationship. Whoever this person is, they want a relationship. And they have a full cup. They have a full cup that they are offering you. If you are coupled and you are in a situation that is dead, you do have somebody else. And you can manifest it. You can. So don't let your fear of growing old alone hold you back. Please do not. Now, um... Let's clarify this hostilities card. What is it? Who's hostile here? Who's hostile here, Aquarius? You? <laughs> you? Are you hostile? Could be the other person. He looks pretty angry, though. And that is Aquarius. Okay, that's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And this could be who you're dealing with. It could be. It could be you. Ah, oh, you do have Pisces as well. Pisces or Cancer involved. There's something going on that you don't even know about. Somebody's pissed at you and you may not know it. Somebody's a liar. Somebody could be somebody could be not be telling you the truth. You could be dealing with somebody that is very deceptive. So be careful. You could, you know, somebody has secrets that you're dealing with. They're not even telling you the whole truth. So I just have to tell you to beware. Somebody's not telling you the truth. And you, you know, you could have, you could, you could, this could be you getting pissed because you find out that you're dealing with somebody that lies and, uh, you know, is just not looking, just not looking for anything stable. This person, look at the sword in the hand. I mean, very hurtful. This person's been hurt, so they don't care who they hurt. So... I don't know where that's coming from, but I feel like you're going to see something clearly. And whoever you're dealing with is probably going to be pissed off that you see it clearly. That's what's going to happen. I think you're dealing with somebody who is not who they say they are. I do. And it could be it could be a Pisces or a Cancer. This person is um, probably doesn't care who they hurt. So beware. I'm just telling you, beware. This is somebody who doesn't care who they hurt. They're they're only out for themselves. So I don't, I don't think it's you. I just don't. I think it's probably whoever you're dealing with that's got some secrets and they don't care who they hurt. So I feel like you, you do have somebody coming in and they're going to offer you love. But you're going to have to use your, 
your intuition for one you're going to have to use your intuition you're going to have to be practical here and you're going to have to dig deep to to figure out what somebody is hiding i think that you you are probably going to deal with some hostilities probably the hostilities could be from a water sign okay you got somebody here that you know you're probably going to need to turn your back on and it's probably going to cause some animosity so I think some, some sort of secret is going to be revealed that is going to cause you to remove yourself from a situation that is incompatible. So that's what I see. Um, good luck. Talk to you next time. I'm going to tag the other January reading to the end of this. Remember that not every reading is for you. Good luck.